Oi, oi, Mobilisi. Three, two, one, play. So we got another uh, doubles battle in uh, ORS. So I actually had a lot of trouble picking my team here. Um, I wasn't sure, like, so I definitely wanted Landorus because uh, he had a, a str he was strong against the majority of his team, and if the lead was bad, I could just U-turn out. I like Kangaskhan for a fake out lead, even though it's kind of also my sweeper. Um, I need Amoongus for his Amoongus, and for his Gastrodon, and for his Terrakion. Uh, and Suicune, I wasn't sure. I, I didn't like Aegislash versus Aegislash, and I did not really like Rotom into his team because of the Gastrodon. Pretty much only, actually. And, oh, and the Terrakion. The Terrakion was very threatening as well. Uh, Rotom wouldn't have been too bad, but... I thought Suicune would be better. Suicune threatened a lot uh, with Scalds and Ice Beams. Uh, so, his lead, definitely, my lead's not... His lead is better than my lead. So, I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to get put to sleep. Uh, and Landorus doesn't want to stand on this crap. So I decide, okay, I'm going to U-turn out, and I'm going to fake out the uh, Amoongus, because I think he is going to be too afraid of the Stone Edge from Landorus, and, like, like, Mens could run Protect, but even if it does run Protect, it, it's very threatened by uh, my team currently. So, I, uh, I fake out and I I knew he was going to have a rocky helmet, but it was just it was actually just to prevent the sleep. Um, and now I realize uh, by taking Suicune, my team is actually pretty uh, afraid of this Amoongus. It's not... Like, I, I should have taken Rotom against the Amoongus just because of its ability to deal with it. However, so my Amoongus is in. Um, I'm like, okay, well, I immediately... I Clearly this guy doesn't want to stay in versus Giga Drain. Uh versus a Giga Drain on my Amoongus. So what I'm thinking here is, okay, I'm going to try and do some damage with Double Edge onto his Amoongus, just chunk him, and I'm going to sport the Gastrodon, because even if he stays in and, like, uh, thinking I won't Giga Drain, the Gastrodon's still asleep, doesn't matter, it's still positive, a net positive for me. However, he switches into Salamence, and, like, th this whole play was horrible for me, so I forgot my Kangaskhan was at minus one, right? Uh, he goes for the support, and then he intimidates me, and I, I, my Kangaskhan's at minus two, and I get a double edge. I do almost no damage to that Amoongus, and then I take a bunch of Rocky Helmet and Recoil damage. So now I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna Giga Drain the Ments, and I have to let my Kangaskhan die, essentially, at this point. It could wake up and get some damage off. That would be so lovely. However, that would also be pure luck, and I'm just gonna chip away at the Salamence with a Giga Drain. It's not too much of a, too much of a big deal here. Uh, so, his Amoongus kills my Kangaskhan. That sucks. Uh, that was my fault entirely. It was a horrible play by me. Absolutely dreadful. That's almost no damage done, so he's up now. Uh, and I think the clear choice is Suicune here. Suicune threatens both of his Pokemon uh, with Ice Beam. Uh, and while I am slightly threatened by the Amoongus, I think he should be more afraid than I should at this point. So I'm going to go Sport on the Ments because I think there's no way he's keeping this Ments in. Uh, he could risk getting a Protect Wake Up, but you don't want to risk that. You don't want to risk that at all. Uh, and even if I choose to not target Mens, I could target uh, the Amoongus, so he's threatened regardless. So Amoongus goes for Protect, which is fine. Um, I use Ice Beam, he protects the Amoongus because, you know, he doesn't want it to die. Uh, and then I Spore the incoming Terrakion. So now I'm going to use Ice Beam on Amoongus, and I'm going to go for a Giga Drain on the Terrakion. I think this is the safe play, I think there was no way he was going to keep Amoongus in. However, I didn't want to uh, Scald out of fear of Gastrodon getting a special attack boost. So a Giga Drain actually does quite a bit of damage to this uh, Terrakion. And I'm thinking, okay, what's my best bet here? Do I want to go for another Spore? Do I want to go for a Giga Drain onto the Terrakion? Do I want to Ice Beam the Terrakion? What do I want to do? So Terrakion wakes up after like one turn of sleep, which is lucky. He misses my Suicune, which is cool because then I get some damage in on it, not too much. Uh, I unfortunately get Toxic. I actually was not very familiar with uh, Gastrodon uh, in this battle, so I, I wasn't really prepared on what to be what I would be fighting against. So he has a Citrus Berry, and he Toxics me, and I get a huge damage off. So I'm in a pretty decent spot here. Uh, the downside is, I don't... I can't use my Stab move on Suicude, which sucks. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, well... I'm gonna... Uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. Uh, did I want to go for damage on the uh, Gastrodon, or did I want to try and kill the Terrakion? So I go for a Giga Drain onto this Gastrodon, and then I do a uh, Ice Beam onto Terrakion, because I know Terrakion will die. So he crits my Amoongus, which is whatever, doesn't do any damage at all. Uh, the real problem here is, 
Gastrodon uses Recover, and then I get flinched. And that sucks so bad, because I would have I st I would have been in a very much... M I would have been in an advantageous posi position on this turn, but I now I'm in a disadvantageous position, because um, <clears throat> Amoongus is going to be able to heal off me, and I'm not going to be able to kill the Gastrodon. So I, I opt for a um, Ice Beam onto this Amoongus so I can burn, er, uh, not burn, uh, Citrus Berry, uh, my su burn my Citrus Berry because I knew he was going to Giga Drain me and I just wanted to get any damage I could on that stupid thing. And then uh, I Spore his Gastrodon because I wasn't too afraid of it as an Amoongus. So I'm like, okay, what do I want to do here? Uh, I want to Giga Drain the Gastrodon because I know I'll get my health back, that's nice. And I'm going to switch Suicune out because I can't afford to take any more Toxic damage, it's just too much. Um, I think he's probably going to switch in that Salamence here. Um, however, it's not really a big deal if he switches out into the Ments. Uh, the Ments is still sleeping, uh, so it doesn't matter that much. So he switches out, goes into the um, the Salamence, and I, I since my Suicune is faster, I, I guess since I switched out first, I don't get intimidated on his Ments, but it's probably a special Ments, so that doesn't matter much. So now we're both asleep, and it's like, oh shit, what are we going to do here? So I'm thinking, alright, I'm going to switch out into Suicune to get Regenerator, and then I'm going to try and kill um, <clears throat> the Salamence. And I was kind of hoping he would target my, um, he's, I was kind of hoping he would target my uh, Landorus instead of my Suicune with the Giga Drain, but he did predict me to switch into Suicune, which was a good play by him. And I think he Mega Evolved the Salamence just to get the bulk uh, that it adds. Uh, he knew, there's no way he could take the the hits from Landorus anymore. So, okay, he's in a... It basically, whoever wakes up first is gonna win. So I protect in case he does wake up, uh, and my so my Amoongus won't die. I think Landorus could probably live one Hyper Voice, and then I get a crit Stone Edge, which is so, so lovely. So that guy dies, and then he targets my Landorus with an attack. And uh, now he's in a horrible position here. Uh, he only has a Sleeping Gastrodon left, and um, at, the, at the end of the day, uh, I will kill Gastrodon faster than he will kill Landorus, just because of the 4 times super effectiveness, which is super, super nice. Uh, I get another crit stone edge, two in a row. Um, I'm not sure in terms of, like, it definitely helped me kill it in one turn, but if he slept for two turns, it really wouldn't have mattered much. My Landorus would have still been alive, so this is dead. Uh, and now, basically, he has nothing here. Uh, it's just this Amoongus. He could keep Giga Draining me, and it could it'd be like some kind of weird Amoongus stalemate. I don't know. Uh, however, uh, he ends up DCing, I guess, out of the rage from the crits I got on my Stone Edge, uh, which sucks. You never want to see that, but hey, that's how it goes. I did get I did get lucky after making horrible misplays with my Kangaskhan. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was a fun battle. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, feel free to check out some of my other content uh, that I will provide in the little outro here. All right, see you guys next time.